Everybody has problems. Life brings family issues, life brings financial issues, life brings lots of issues. But when you're focusing on somebody else besides yourself, it gives you a whole new perspective. You know, take your eyes off yourself and you put it on your fellow man and life just becomes very much that much more rewarding. I was in a car accident. I was riding a bicycle and got hit by a driver that didn't see me. I went through the windshield. Uh, I credit my surgeon with saving my life, but in a lot of ways, physical therapy is what kind of gave me back that part of my life. Initially, the, the two physicians that helped me, the first one was my trauma surgeon, the other one was my bone doctor, the guy that actually put my leg back together. They concentrated more on the the medical aspects of my accident. In other words, we've got to get the bone put back together. The abdominal surgeries, where the physical therapist, he's concentrating on the, on the life part. In other words, you're alive and you know, you've survived, but now how are, you going to, how are you going to live? He's the one that got me, able, you know, got me out of the wheelchair, walking again, building strength. The physical therapist is more working on the daily routine parts of your life, the things that are gonna make life worth living. I like seeing the ultimate outcome, uh, seeing, seeing the uh, positive impact that we have. Uh, even though we're addressing the physical needs, there's, there's so much of an emotional side, a spiritual side, Jesus you know, when, when they're coming in from day to day and, and their, uh, their demeanor, how it changes, um, they're not so much worried, focused on their injury anymore. And so seeing that and how it changes their life, uh, it's, it's very rewarding. Woo, look at you. <laughs> you look good. He saw the possibilities of me doing things that haven't happened since I had the car accident. And, but he has had the patience and the understanding to work with me. I can move my thumb, open and close my right hand. Those were things that they said would never be done. And he has brought the best out of me. So with his help, I do believe that I will walk again. Eventually, it's, we need to kind of work towards the center. The professional physical therapy as a whole across the nation is, I think, stronger now than it's ever been because everything that is advancing from just the curriculum standpoint, everything is transitioning from uh, what was at one time a bachelor's program, moved to a master's program, now everything's shifting over to a doctoral program, all of which is making us all better prepared clinicians to not only treat better, but to be able to justify in all aspects of what we do, why we do what we do. In our classwork, it's emphasized to try and work in different groups with different people, and that's, I think, a very important part of life as well as school. Well, I've always wanted to be in health care, and I'm from a small rural area, so I've seen the need for health care in small towns, and I've seen that cycle of poverty that can go on, and I felt that physical therapy would be a good avenue for me to be able to contribute back to my community. I'm a home health physical therapist and I cover several counties. A lot of my day sometimes is spent driving between patients. I go into patients' homes and give them therapy, usually after they've been in the hospital for some sort of surgery or um, other medical condition. Okay, and then keep going. It's one-on-one -on -one and people, people feel special when you just sit down and take that time just to listen to them. Um, that you have compassion for them and we actually do get to spend a lot more time with the patients sometimes than I think even the nurses do, the doctors do and they appreciate that. Back in March Brooke was in a car accident and um, received a TBI. Um, 
Our physical therapist has just been wonderful. When uh, we came home from the hospital, Brooke was not able to hold her head up. She was not able to eat. She was not able to support herself at all. She wasn't even able to stand. We actually had to use a sliding board in order to transfer her. Today, Brooke is holding her head up. She can sit up by herself. You're doing great. Excellent, Brooke. So without the physical therapy, you know, I don't know where we would be or where even Brooke would be today. Great, keep coming. Straight towards me, keep coming. Look at you! Let go. Well, Joey is, has significant disabilities. People with cerebral palsy, because they can't move like the rest of us, have problems with arthritis and you know muscle atrophy and things like that. It's almost like Joey is an athlete, and his therapy is like his athletic training, so that he'll be able to. Um, live a, a good quality of life in the future. He's now five years old and our therapists have um, been an uh, important part of our family. Joey needs to have life skills. Um, we want him to be as independent as possible as he gets older and he is making some progress. There's a lot of benefit there. The main reason I chose a PT as a career is because it combines uh, my love of science with my love for people, and then also the diversity of, of PT. Uh, not only, you know, can you do uh, sports medicine, pediatrics, wound care, um, you get to interact with the people as well. Well, I work full time in wound care, which is um, an area of physical therapy that is not that familiar even to a lot of people that are looking as, to PT as a profession. Interestingly enough, my mom's best friend is a PT. Her excitement when she used to talk about patients and how um, fulfilling it was to take care of people and see them progress towards goals and all that is what initially got me excited about the profession. We have so much knowledge about anatomy and physiology and mechanics of how joints move, I think that gives us a distinct advantage in the arena of wound care. I have worked here at Memorial since 1985 and have worked in a lot of different arenas within physical therapy, and I, I love it more than when I started. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think the largest contribution that physical therapy offers is the idea of true patient-centered care. And by that I mean we're able to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our patients and therefore we're really able to focus on returning them to what it was that they enjoyed before. I had total knee joint replacement on the left knee with, to do the right knee at a later date. These people are so, I mean they're tremendous. Uh, I found out I just left my modesty throwing it out the door of whatever happened, whatever happened. And they, they've been taking, taking their real care of me. Uh, I thought uh, uh, this would be an easy thing to get on, but it's not. I ride motorcycles. I've been riding since now, uh, 1955, and I have five Harleys sitting in my garage that nobody rides. And I'm waiting to get them out again. I haven't rode in a year. My physical therapy team is going to get me back on my Harley this year. So it's working on your strength and at the same time it's also working on your balance. What I like best about doing physical therapy is uh, the, effect, the fact that I get to work with different patients, uh, different types of patients, um, younger patients, older patients, and different skill levels, different activity levels, and uh, that's kind of good. It ke keeps things fresh, keeps things different, and uh, makes a lot of fun. We do have a lot of sports injuries here, sprained ankles, knee injuries, uh, back injuries, things like that. You know, pretty much if they play it, they're, they're going to get hurt at it and we're going to see them. In this position, and especially in acute rehab, I really get to know the patients and their families very well. And I guess the biggest contribution that I have for them is to give them hope for the future. There's an amazing feeling to know that what I did and what I helped them to learn has really carried over and that now they're doing things in their life that they thought they could never do again. 
It's very challenging, can be very demanding physically, depending on what setting you work in, and can be very demanding mentally. Uh, but it is extremely rewarding and I would encourage anybody that thinks they have the attributes to be a physical therapist to pursue it. There's pediatrics, there's geriatrics, there's general outpatient, there's inpatient hospital, there's a burn center, there's a wide variety of things out there that many students don't notice out there. So get your observation hours, get out there and, and look and talk to therapists and, and, and basically do an interview with them. You know, what do they like about the job? What do they not like about the job? I was an athlete in high school, so I really uh, was interested in learning more about the profession. So I started primarily with a lot of volunteer work, just to figure out if I liked it, if it was my niche, and I thought it was a good profession to try. Well, right now I'm doing both land patients and aquatic therapy. Primarily in the pool, we work on patients that have had deconditioning problems or um, just need overall strengthening. Also, we see post-op patients, just a wide variety. What I like best is the interaction with different people throughout the day. Since we see such a wide variety of patients here, I never get bored in the same routine. It's always something different. And just the overall satisfaction of seeing my patients go through the entire rehabilitation process and get better, it's just very rewarding. I really recommend volunteering because that's where you really get a hands-on feel for things. And if you really get a chance to talk with the clinicians and ask them questions about what they do day to day to really find out if that's really what fits for you. I have a lot of older relatives and one of my aunts had a bilateral or both knees had to be replaced and she had a lot of problems with infection and different things like that and I would go over and help her out and one day when I went her physical therapist was there and just watching a lot of the things that he did and talking with him he was very friendly and he just answered all my questions and just going more into kind of what he did and what physical therapy was about it seemed really interesting so I looked it up and shadowed at some clinics and I just decided this was really what I wanted to do. We were out riding a motorcycle for a Relay for Life, Cancer Relay for Life, and uh, a car uh, intercepted our procession and I was one of the uh, last motorcycles to hit the vehicle. So when I did that, I broke just about everything from the waist down and my right arm. For 90 days, I was confined to the bed. Uh, for someone who's very active, that is, you know, knowing you've got to lay in the bed for three months, that is just a tremendous <laughs> ordeal. Just like you did when we do my shoulder stretches and we right. lay down. Right. Said, With my you therapist, we're able to talk every day, every other day. He's e very accessible. He has made my life so much easier. And uh, what he's done is given me back me, you know, to resume my life again.